ergonomics, productivity, safety, dependability, reliability. The main objective of our project was to create a truck that allows the customer to specifically choose and select the options to meet their application. My name is John Santiago, and I am the Director of Product Planning and Solutions. So our team has been working on this product for years, and what you're gonna see is gonna be something that we are very proud of. Hello, my name is Greg Moffitt, and I am the Validation Test Leader here at the Counterbalance Development Center in Fairview, Oregon. Scalable design really means giving the customer the right lift truck to do their job well. Our goal is to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Our facility allows us to be adaptable to a wide variety of use cases, hot ambient conditions, freezer applications, rough terrain, loading docks. If our customers see it, then we see it. That translates to a need for a robust truck design that can allow them to be most effective. I'm Jimmy Anderson. I'm the product manager for the Yale Series N. The forklift is essentially an operator's office. From day one, it's been at the forefront of our minds to develop the Yale Series N with an operator-centric design. The seat position is nice and low and close to that step, so it's easy to climb into. You're going to notice that that center mast window is up to 30% wider on these new models. When we visited operators out in the field, what they told us they needed in a new forklift was that it was easy to get on and off of, had good visibility, and was comfortable to sit on and drive. Hi, I'm Chris Beck, and I'm the engineering manager for the engine systems team. So what customers need to know is that this is a fully industrial engine designed for a heavy duty cycle. One of the major objectives for this project was to take the engine and make it more compact. And if you've ever seen a modern common rail turbo diesel, you would know what a massive undertaking that is. EMR's experience with developing heavy duty diesel engines really gave them a leg up in developing a package for this engine that is gonna limit valve recession and make class leading performance. This development center is tailor-made for us to qualify and test engines like the Yanmar engine. Coupling their development center with our technologies here, and it's a match made in heaven. My name is Eric Offner. I'm a drivetrain test engineer. There are several new features in the drivetrain. We actually have button control of the park brake on-off functionality. It's designed to apply the park brake if the operator comes out of the seat or if the vehicle loses power for any reason. We've increased the commonality of parts. We've also tuned the transmission control software. Operators are probably gonna notice a lot of the direction change behaviors are smoother than they have been in some of the prior product. At the start of this whole project, we start out with a truck requirements document. That's based upon what the customer feedback says we need this vehicle to do. We've got years into developing these systems and we're measuring and proving them out against those targets. It's really neat to see all the pieces coming together. Hi, I'm Ken McCurdy, Senior Project Engineer of Hydraulics Test at the Counterbalance Development Center. We're able to offer variable displacement pumps with manual hydraulic valves, which is new for the series. The valve is going to automatically take care of any differences in flow with response to load for you, which means increased uptime for customers that are running multiple trucks. We are very confident that the system is going to do what we need it to and provide what the customer is looking for. My name is Kyle Bashu. As a truck engineer, I help integrate the systems from the truck into a usable and valuable product for our customers. DSS is short for Dynamic Stability System, and it's a new operator assist feature made up of four unique subsystems that all work together to help assist the operator. Lateral Stability System, High Lift Traction Control, High Lift Tilt Control, and Corner Control. It's intended to help reduce the likelihood of a lift truck getting into an unstable situation. Let's consider as an example, moving a little bit faster and, and maybe taking corners too quickly. But with DSS, they're gonna receive alerts and they're gonna bump up against a reduced speed limit. My name is Joshua Hogue. I'm the Chief Engineer of Structural Analysis and Testing. If anyone were to watch these test events, we basically beat our trucks up. We run them through a gauntlet of very abusive operations. Virtually every aspect of our truck is evaluated down to each individual bracket and bolt. 
It's always intrigued me how a 13 pound pump with a little mechanical motivation can move mountains. It's very analogous to what we do here at the CBDC. Our dedicated team moves mountains to make sure that our products meet and exceed the needs of our customers. Seeing people that are passionate about their job, that enjoy coming and spending the time and the effort here, you know, as part of the product development, translates to that robust, fine product that we can be proud of when we send it out to the field. The people who are behind these trucks, they put their heart and soul into designing a forklift that allowed the operators to be as productive in their last hour's operation as their first.